So, you've gotten an apartment or you're renting a house and you're getting tired of her goofy shit. You've tried to make it work after two years or more, but your arguments with her are getting less and less rational and more and more severe. Now, you found the red pill next to your computer and you're starting to notice that your chicky is acting tricky. <laughs> She's emasculated you nine ways from Sunday in front of friends and family and it feels as though there's no end in sight. Perhaps you're living together in an apartment and you feel so suffocated from cohabitating with her. Well, here's your prep. Sit alone, you know. It could be in your car, your meditative space, whatever. Weigh out your good times with her against the bad times with her. And I mean everything. Now, after days, maybe months of thought, ask yourself, is it worth preserving the relationship? Now, don't let your love colored glasses blind you on this one. View it as objectively as you can, even though you absolutely cannot help but to view it subjectively with feelings, of course. We are human after all. If your final decision is to stay with her shit stay with her all right you know what i'm saying you can't complain about that shit stay with her now if all signs in the road point to go get the hell out of there well then you dump the bitch one know when the lease is up on the apartment or house. Uh, now, for guys owning a house or in a mortgage, well, I'm sorry, brother, I don't have a solution for that. Now, brothers that are watching this video that that have insight on a how to a dump a bitch sharing your home, put in a, a link to a video of some sort that can help them, or send a comment or two to a brother that may need help with that. This is for guys in long-term relationship cohabitations um, without kids, you know. Or if you got a kid and yet your chick is, all, is a single mom, you know. If you're the single dad and she's a single mom, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. All right. Two, save the hell out of your money. Stash it in savings or in assets that your soon-to-be ex cannot touch. Like Bitcoin or something, for instance. Or any altcoin out there. Now, there's this other way where, you know, you can act as though you have a gambling addiction and shit. But you would have to play it a little, a little slicker than most. You know what I'm saying? You have to keep her up on that shit. You know, that to let her know that you like to go to the casinos and shit like that. But you have this big ass stash. Don't let her know you have the big stash, though. You know what I'm saying? There's that, of course. But uh, two, save the hell out of your money. Stash it in savings or on assets that your soon-to-be ex cannot touch. Three, after your chick is gone to work and, and your argument has blown over weeks ago. And you're, you're cool with her still, but you still want to dump the bitch. Stash your prized possessions, a little furniture, not the main stuff, because she'll notice something. All right? Just get clothes out, you know what I'm saying, stuff like that. Prized possessions like albums, shit like that, out into a storage closet. Something small enough for an efficiency, right? Or for guys that live a little bigger, you know, it could be two, three bedroom, something like that. Now, if she suspects you of anything, just make up some excuse like you're downsizing to make room for something special for her. Put these things in the storage garage, you know what I mean? 
Now, this is super effective if you're not on argumentative terms with her. Like, you know, that, that argument has subsided and she suspects nothing at this point. You know, those calm before the storm moments, if you know what I'm talking about. Four. Get an emergency bag to put changes of clothing in and stash it away in your car. Uh, just in case the lease hasn't ended yet. Five. Once you're approaching a month before the end of the lease, see the landlord or landlady to express that only your name will be off the lease and only your significant other will be renewing or she may or may not be you know shit like that six this is the tough part guys six tell your chick that it's time that you went your separate way that it's time for you to be apart don't sugarcoat nothing you know what i'm saying um if she tries to offer extra stupid ass fantasies like threesomes refuse them all right i've been offered that stupid ass shit and and i know it's it's a lie i know it's stupid shit she's only saying that shit is a last ditch effort to keep you and do not offer to be her fucking roommate afterwards because she'll try to rub it in your face by bringing all kinds of sorts of idiot dudes in the house and you do not do not want to be a cuck sandwich when this happens and then seven once the lease is up get out of the state i don't give a shit if you got a job in that current state with her you don't want your wages garnished and see most of that shit is done through state income taxes and less through federal Right, so get the fuck out of that state. <laughs> now, that was seven, you know. Don't take this as the end all be all fully definitive list. This is not for married men again, totally. You know, it's not for them totally. They may get be able to, you know, get some of these steps implemented in their break breakup plan. And again, for other brothers, go ahead. And um, put in a link to a video that has something for married men of this nature. Or simply write in what you were able to do in your relationship to, to, to dump the bitch. Alright? And um, it, the end game for going my own way is strictly individual. And it's to know that the last uh, thought in my head and within the last beat of my heart is to know and feel that I went my own way. Peace, gentlemen.